Hello viewers, Rain City Ranch here. In this video I'm going to be using my air powered cooling system pressure tester. It's a Snap-on SVTS263A. I know there's other manufacturers that make essentially the same product. Um, I also have a backup universal hand pump and I'm going to show you why this air powered one is better than this hand pump one. Now I'm connected into a Chevy Cruze right now. This one, this one has an obvious leak, but the principle still applies. You connect air into it. I've already got my adapter on. We're gonna open the valve and we're gonna start building some air pressure. Now I can hear the leak down here. One good thing about this is you don't need to fill the cooling system up um, with water or coolant to find the leak. You can uh, find them e even if there is no water in it. Uh, this will just keep supplying air the entire time you got the valve open. I can keep building some pressure here, applying more air if I want. Since this one, uh, this one's a large leak, I'll show it to you. This hose is split right here. Come back out a little bit. And let's apply some more air here. We can really ramp up the air pressure. But anyway, I didn't, I didn't have to put any coolant in it or water in it. And the reason this works so much better is uh, these, these hard to find leaks that may be above the water line that are up top of like an intake manifold or top of a radiator. This thing will just keep shooting the air out until you can find it. That way you're not just sitting there pumping and pumping and pumping, not building pressure with this hand pump. I'm going to go ahead and pinch these lines off, simulate a sealed system. Okay, let's build some pressure now. There's 10 PSI. There's like 14. I can close the valve. Can disconnect it. There you go, we're holding. Now for really slow leaks, I'll go ahead and uh, put this up to whatever the, the cap says, usually like 14 or 13 to 15 PSI. I'll go ahead and disconnect the air and then I'll just let it sit there overnight. Then I'll come in in the morning and then I'll see where, where there's some fresh coolant or if there's a drip underneath the vehicle. Works really nifty. And we can bleed the, uh, bleed the air off right here. I'm going to cook, connect my universal one in here show you why it's so much harder to find that leak there, that, even that obvious leak.
This one's got an expandable bladder. Pump the bladder up first to seal it. Now we're just going to sit here. See if you can see this. Pump and pump. I, <clears throat> I can't actually hear it over here. But if it's a leak that's underneath or in the back and really tough to see and get to, that's why you can just uh, apply the air and then you can go about your inspection and the entire time it's, it just keeps supplying air until you can find the leak. So if you don't have one of these, I would highly suggest you get one. This one here, I think I got it for 150 bucks on eBay. I hope you subscribe so you don't miss out. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click the bell. Feel free to make comments below. I'd love to hear them. Happy motoring and see you in the next one.